Hello everyone, Ishani here. Hope you all are safe. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, welcome and I hope you will like what I share and will subscribe to my channel. I had posted a question for my subscribers about what type of birthday card tutorial you would like to watch. I am so thankful to all of you who voted, out of which most of you said that you would like to see cards that work for all. So I have a bunch of unisex cards and I will create with supplies you surely have at home and with no special skills required. Also now that you are here I would like you to stop by at my Instagram account where I share more cards and craft ideas and if you would like me to do a video of any of them please do let me know I would love to recreate them for you. I have 5 zodiac birthday cards for you. To me zodiacs are gender neutral and work for all. I will also share a technique that can be done by kids with just crayons and watercolors. So keep watching. I am not a specialist with zodiac so I did a bit of research on them and I thought I will have them in different colors which are going to represent the element the zodiac belongs to. It might be something new for you but the Leo zodiac belongs to fire element hence I choose the red color. Cancer is a water sign so blue. Libra is one of the air signs hence turquoise or green and Capricorn is earth so I chose orange or yellow. I am keeping it for ready reference and now I take the cardstocks in four different colors. These are heavy cardstock similar to a thick chart paper kids use around 220 gsm in weight and I've cut it to the size 4 and 3 by 4 in length and 3 and a half in width. For the sentiment I'm going to use happy birthday by a stamp company called Unico. You can also do your hand lettering for the sentiment which I'll be doing for the subsequent card where I show that how kids can do it with the minimal supplies. I'm using stamping platform as I'll be doing assembly line process for all the first four cards. I stamp happy birthday with Versamark and I'm going to heat emboss it with opaque bright white embossing powder by WOW. I do the same for all my card stocks and then I measure and mark for my zodiac sign illustrations as I want them to be of similar size. I have checked the illustrations from the internet and have them on the note at my right and I am drawing them with the pencil first on all the cards. Because I am not very good at illustrations I am doing it with pencil you can go ahead and do it straight. Kids can do it very easily these are very simple illustrations maybe they can do better than me. May we make the whole constellation? That's also a great idea, having constellation for each zodiac. After drawing all these, I'm going to erase off a little so that the star lines are not visible. And I'll go through my illustrations over with embossed pen by Ranger. If you do not have an embossed pen and you have a sticky ink like Versamark, you can also use a Versamark ink with brush and go over your illustration and then take white embossing powder and emboss it. This is another way. I will later on be showing how to do it without an embossed pen and without ink blending also. Just be with me for some more time and I will show it. One of the things to remember while embossing is using an anti-static powder. I am using here a DIY anti-static powder tool that I made with a baby sock. And I have put cornflower and Johnson's baby powder in it for an all over coverage of my area. You can do the same or you can use the ready made products which are available in the market. But don't forget to use the anti static powder before you emboss, otherwise, the white speck of the opaque embossing powder will be left all over your card. So many of us know that card making hobby is not just a hobby, it's also an exercise. Now is the time to build up some muscles and I'm taking Altenew's Velvet and Crimson colors for my red card stock. I take Distress Oxide inks in Blueprint Sketch and Salty Oceans for the blue. I'm taking Distress Oxide in Cracked Pistachio and Peacock Feathers for the green. And for yellow, I'm taking Spice Marmalade and Abandoned Coral. These are the colors that I have in my stash. You can use any colors that you have maybe dye inks or distress oxide inks or maybe pigment inks whatever you have in your stash there is no set rule we just need a gradient from inside to outside so that it 
appears as if the zodiac has a glow of itself. I've started ink blending with the red colored cardstock and I've told you all the inks that I'll be using. For the red cardstock I'll also be using Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo because it needed a little dark corners and I thought brown would be perfect for giving it the darker edges. I have sped up all the inking process because it does not need any elaboration. I am just going from light to dark from inside to outside with two or three inks that we have already discussed earlier. I will also be linking all the products that I use down in the description box below. If you need to check, you can check there. And now that I have made my biceps and I am happy with all my ink blending, it's time to arrange our cards. I am taking textured card stock which has these fine lines all across because most of the card is clean and simple I thought a little texture on the white card base would look good and I take A2 size cardstock which would be one inch more than the panel which we have cut earlier and with foam tape I adhere all the card panels onto this A2 sized textured cardstock I hope you liked how we made these cards these Capricorn, Cancer Libra and Leo cards can be kept in your stash to be given away to a girl or a boy or whoever you want to. Now is the time to do this another technique which kids can do easily and can have their zodiac cards ready to give away to their friends. Few of my friends who are not into card making wanted to know few techniques that they can use with their kids and make cards. And I'm going to use a humble wax crayon along with watercolors for this resist technique. I've also done a video earlier with the same technique. You can check it up right there. For the front panel, I'm using a watercolor paper and for the card base, also I'm using watercolor paper because the paper I had used earlier looks a little bluish white if I use that. The small piece of the paper is where we'll have our illustration. And down below we will have a sentiment. I am going to handwrite the sentiment. So with the scale I mark the size that I want my alphabets to be. And then with the pencil I write happy birthday. One of the tips for it to look better. I am not good at hand lettering. Especially these block letters. So I mark all my horizontal lines a little below the usual place where we put it. With the 0.3 pen. I go over it again and because I mess it up I make my lines a little thicker so that it looks okay. Kids have better handwriting and they'll do a fantastic job writing this and you can also do it in cursive writing happy birthday any way you like. Let's go ahead and do our illustration of the zodiac now. So with a pencil first I draw my zodiac. I have chosen Pisces for this card and after I have drawn it with pencil I erase off my pencil marks and redraw again with the wax crayon. Please make sure that your wax crayon is either white or clear like I have this clear with a little silver thing in it. This works beautifully. Going ahead with water coloring, I apply with white brush water all across my paper. I am not using the fancy taping around, I am just doing the kids way. And yeah, the kids way I have my water muddy too with blue color. And then I take different blues, light, dark and darkest from inside to out. You just need to color from inside to outside, light to dark and you can keep diluting it with water which is not really required because the colors are already diluted in my case. And you see how the wax has resisted the watercolor and now I have my Pisces zodiac sign showing off the watercolor blue surface. I let the first layer dry. And then come again with some color outside the edges and then let it dry again. I can see a little blue color inside my wax. It must have been left because of the sparkle which is there in my crayon. So with clean water I take off the color with the brush. 
it is not really necessary i just thought i could do that let me try and so i tried and it was giving an okay result and with my pisces zodiac ready it is time to mount it on my a2 size happy birthday panel with 3d foam tape and here is our resist technique zodiac card ready in minutes kids can try it with all the other zodiacs that i have showcased in the beginning change it with the watercolors that they have as their elements like for leo they can use red and similarly the others i hope you enjoyed these clean and simple zodiac cards which i hope you will try yourself too if you do and share it on social media don't forget to tag me i would love to see you and your kids make some for your loved ones also let me know which is your favorite combination that we did today hope you have subscribed to my channel to watch more craft ideas thank you once again for stopping by and for all your love keep safe and happy crafting bye bye